Good evening everybody and in this video I'm going to tell you how I painted these Aeronautica Imperialis Imperial Navy aeroplanes. So these were quite fun to paint I uh, have to say I did enjoy painting these so I'll tell you uh, how I actually painted them and this time I decided to use an airbrush although I'm not a hundred percent sure the airbrush was really required um, we started off with our standard base coat of black which was uh, primed primed which was uh, rattle canned on I should say I used uh, chaos black uh, undercoat and then over the top of that we did some pre-shading uh, with white sort of backwards pre-shading and uh, just hit the top of the model there you can kind of see through the blue if you look at the tips of the wings there you can see where the pre-shadings worked and then over the top of the pre-shading I used a color called Vallejo Magic Blue which is uh, over here if you'll bear with me for one moment Vallejo Game Colour Magic Blue, I should say. And as you'll notice, it looks a bit darker than the actual model, which is good. <laughs> because uh, this is a bit of a dark tone. I wanted to get the scale effect where these were actually kind of uh, a bit lighter in their mini form as opposed to in real life. Um, scale effect in, I normally add a drop of white to any mix. And that makes the uh, colour look a little bit lighter, more desaturated. Um, so yeah, we used uh, Game Color Magic Blue and then that was literally it for the base coat over the pre-shading and then if I can look underneath This was just a really really light blue Almost an off-white you can see it's kind of dirty there, but that's from the next stage So we did an off-white on the underneath And then if you can see down the side there, I literally badly <laughs> painted a strip uh, bisecting the two colours using a medium blue and I think I literally just mixed white with the old ma uh, magus magic blue over there to get the mid-tone and just painted that strip down the middle everywhere where the blue and the white meets both on the marauders oh this one is tight one was loose one was tight let's see if this one comes out there we go and the same on the thunderbolts there if you can see underneath we painted those in the same manner after we'd done our mid-tone we then moved on to the details now these took me quite a long time on these planes um, started off with painting some little white strips there on the wings just to break it up a little bit and then uh, some red tips on my missiles just to uh, give them a little bit more detail. I've caught it up there. There's a bit of red on the front of that bomb. We'll just pretend that's uh, where we've hit a seagull or something and it exploded upon impact. <laughs> and then we uh, painted the metals, just did some simple bolt gun and gold colours for the engines and painted the windows. And that was pretty much it for the uh, details. Oh, sorry, I tell a lie again. I painted these lenses with standard lens effects um, and by the way that's not a machine gun you can hear that is why my washing machine downstairs the loudest washing machine in the world <laughs> so after that I then gave the whole model a gloss varnish again now I'm using a car gloss varnish to do these um, in a rattle can again gives you a really really nice glossy finish to put your weathering over the top of or in this case the decals I always put decals on over the gloss varnishes um, so I added the decals next and we had a few easy ones from the Imperial Guard tank kit I might add and a couple from the plane kits these ones on the wing and then the fiddliest thing ever was making these drop shadow numbers now they are made from using a black decal and then putting a white decal slowly off center and then uh, 
glossing them back down to seal them in and then we use some oil paints just to give it some weathering and I just slap the oil paints on and then use some thinners to smear them off again same with the uh, engine exhaust dirt there that's just oil paint smeared a bit not sure what that is but it looked like it needed a bit of a oil smear so that is pretty much it oh and at the very end I used my standard see if we can get it my standard gloss varnish of choice which is Windsor and Newton Galeria matte varnish if you ever need a matte varnish I always recommend this one through the airbrush uh, two to one uh, two parts varnish one part water not airbrush thinner and that will mat your minis down marvelously a couple of coats of that and a uh, crash thunderbolt over there see if we can just rescue him so yeah that is how I painted my Imperial Navy planes they're all painted in exactly the same way uh, next up down here we've got the orcs to do so anyway thank you all very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye.